let's hope these guys start off the way the last fight ended. That's a nice suit that Chuck has on tonight, huh? Yeah, he's out there looking like Principal Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he uh, yeah he definitely got after men's or whatever it's called after ten. He ke he kept a prom jacket or something. Men's warehouse. <laughs> after hours. That, what, is that what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You trying to tell me he don't look like Principal Skinner? <laughs> a younger version, maybe. Yeah, I definitely have to agree. Yeah, before Bart Simpson got in there. <laughs> Yeah, I was saying earlier, man, like, to me, this is the hardest part of the fight, is the walk down, standing in front of the judge, I mean, and uh, the state athletic commissioner getting rubbed down and then getting in, it's like, yo, this is real. This is about to go down. This, this is when it all clicks for me. You know, the worst part for me is when they say I'm on deck and I'm backstage and I'm waiting for them to give the decision to the fight before me and I'm just sitting back there pacing around. Right now, though, when the music hits the speakers, I see all my my friends and family, or my opponent's friends and family, that's when it all clicks and I'm ready to go. Yeah, this is, like, you definitely, de de definitely agree with that. Just, I mean, I'm always, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm, like, petrified walking to the cage. And then once the door shuts, I kind of, I kind of get my composure. So what do you guys do to get the, calm those nerves? Anything? People, you know, people tend to be, like, you know, the way I try to explain it is because you get people who don't train and they're like, oh, well, think of someone kidnapped your mom or they did something to your kid. Like, that doesn't work. To me, that doesn't work. I mean, to, to me, I just think about what my opponent's going to do and what scares me the most is what I can do to somebody physically. And that that's why I get, I get all amped up and I kind of just turn it in. I look like the Tasmanian devil out there half the time when I'm fighting because I'm all over the place. comes from a pretty good, he comes from a good gym, like an actual really good gym. Uh, his coaches, I used to train with his coaches, but his uh, his instructors, BJJ instructor, is actually a really, really good dude and very, very technical, very good guy. Omar Kruishank, very good guy. Well, we'll see. He's 0-1 via submission. We'll see if he can take advantage yeah, of that. Hopefully uh, he gets it together. Starting out good with the kicks. He trains under uh, Bill Bryan. Bill Bryan is actually like re has really good stand up. I don't know too much about the, the 
Medina. Oh. Medina goes in with a Superman punch, gets taken down for the effort. Yeah, that was a nice, that was a nice, uh, he needs to relax, try not to waste all of his, all of his energy if he's going to throw strikes. Amateurs, you can't really ground a pound in the regular amateur rules. Punch him in the back right there. That doesn't look comfortable. So if Norris is able to get his head out there, he can take his back. I fell my wife in the same headlock for 20 minutes before. How'd that go? Over Doritos. Serious. Doritos with flavor. Uh, cool range. Cool range. <laughs> <laughs> He's safe right now. There's, this isn't nothing. He just yeah, got to follow his head. Look at, look at his back. I mean, it's already starting to turn a shade of red from those punches. That's it. He, well, he steps out. Is out. Put it back in. He's got the guillotine. He's got to step in on it. There we go. Fight. Pretty That's much tight. Fight. He's done. No. Looking like he's going to tap. Yep. There's the tap. That's yeah. over. It's over. It's over. Wow. You were right about that, BJJ. Yeah. That was a good. That was a good fight. That was. That was a good. That was a good win for the kid. So Eric just, Norris. Kid, kid Eric just, Norris gets his first win. Yeah, the kid just looked a little nervous, man. You know, your ner yo nerves play a big factor. This kid could, this kid could be what I, what I, what I refer to to call gym lines. Some guys are just gym lines. They could, you know, they could go on forever in the gym, bang with everybody and anybody. You know, once they get the lights on them, sometimes it's just the nerves that hold them back from doing what they need to do. That's such a shame, but that's very common. Just about.